I do love the way the parrots sound when they bark like dogs. I don't have any parrots. So we have a couple options here, but it's raining. It's not uh, not super great. Let's uh, let's go check. We have a huge jungle right over here. Let's see if I can get there without being unloaded into the void. Right past Barb makes things place here. There's a gargantuan jungle. And that little shift trick is super awesome for landing on trees. When your network isn't completely crap. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't know. Flying long distance might not be a great idea right now. And I apologize for the air conditioning noise. It is mid-June and it got hot today. Summer has arrived in Los Angeles. Let's go see if we can find some parrots in this jungle here. I have some seeds. Let's see if we can go find one. Oh, you know what? I should have some fish too, just in case I come across any cats. I have fish somewhere. I have fish in my ender chest. Let me get that. Let me get that out. It's not there. I have fish here. There. Let's grab the bed too, just in case. Okay. So this jungle was generated and explored pretty extensively before 1.12, and although supposedly all the like the parrots are supposed to generate or spawn in pre-generated jungle um why is it not raining here oh it's now clear the daylight has the sun has come out uh we have found uh, apparently not not much luck with finding parrots in this jungle here and I haven't found too many cats in this jungle. Ocelots, I have seen some, uh, but I haven't been able to get them tamed. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I think I got one that I managed to drag out to Giza, out by the pyramid. Uh, but that's the only cat that I have on the server. And I'd like to get more. Oh, ouch. So, we're going to wander around a little bit here and see if we find ourselves some animals, get some pets. Okay, it's on to plan B. So, we found another jungle, or Vex, FX found another jungle area, and he burned it down. Should be much easier to find cats and parrots there trick is getting them back uh, so let me let me sail out to where this is it is out of ways and then we'll uh, we'll see what we can find it would be nice to get a parrot while we're recording this uh, episode don't you think all right let's uh, I don't know how long it'll take to get there it's not too far but it's uh, not super close And of course, it doesn't help that I was rowing the wrong direction. So we're, we're heading the correct direction now. And we're, I don't know, two, three thousand blocks away. So 
Let's see what we can do here. Oh, cool. So we may find some wild parrots when we arrive. So as I mentioned, it's uh, it's mid-June. Uh, tomorrow is actually Father's Day. And um, my father died last September, actually during Minecon. It was not a, of course, not a happy thing. And um, seeing all the advertisements for Father's Day and seeing Father's Day related related things has been a little bit difficult this year because it'll be the first Father's Day that I haven't had him around. There's no one to call tomorrow to say, hey, happy Father's Day. So it's kind of sad. Um, if your father is still alive, and presuming you're still on speaking terms, or maybe even if you're not, make sure you call and I hope you called and uh, wish them a happy Father's Day. I don't think I'm going to get this episode out before uh, before Father's Day itself. Why are there like five torches in a row right here? Somebody was trying to mark something. Huh, that's weird. Okay, anyway. As I was saying... Yeah, uh, yeah. Father's Day, Mother's Day. They they seem like, you know, they they can sometimes seem a little bit corny, like a manufactured holiday, and to some extent they are. But you know, doesn't mean that they're any less important. It gives us a good excuse or good reason to call and uh, thank the people who are in our lives and appreciate them. I don't want to get too too soppy here but uh, I think it's kind of important and I'm not uh, at this point I'm not able to spend time with my parents any longer because they've both passed but uh, I encourage anybody who has that opportunity to do whatever they can to make sure they spend as much time with with them because it's kind of important I see a jungle It's still standing, but I see a jungle. This has got to be a roughly the right place, right? Minus 23. Yep, this is this is the right. Whoops. Oh, ah, don't do that. Get back in the boat. Never leave the boat. Okay. So, XFX burnt down at least part of this village. Oh, I think I see pieces up there. And the sun's starting to go down, which I don't know if I should be worried about. All right, so let's uh, take care of that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to find the part where he burned it down. And we're going to see if we need to do a better job of burning because there's still an awful lot of trees standing here. So let me find... <gasps> is that a parrot? Yes, it is. What time is it? It's starting to get late. Hi there. Probably want a cracker? Whoa. You're going to take a lot of seeds. Oh, there we go. You're mine. You can sit up now. Are you sitting or flying? There you go. Fly, be free. I have a bed here. Let me put the bed down. And let's put let's put the boat in the water. Oh, hello. Tweet. See on my shoulder. Yes. I'm a real pirate now. Arr! There's my screenshot. Oh boy, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. So now how do we get this guy back? <gasps> He's 
the bird now sitting? Are you going to get in the boat? How do I get you in the boat? Get in the boat. Oh, thank you, Vex. Get in the boat. There you go. You're in the boat. Awesome. Oops. Let's get out of here. Oh. Oh, wait. He went to bed, right? Did he get out of the bed? Uh oh, what happened? Why is it still dark? Oh, there we go. Whew. That was scary. Nice. Okay, now we need to go home. Okay, so what's the first rule of transporting your pets back home? Uh, is don't don't shoot don't shoot at things from the boat because that bug still totally exists. Make a little path here. All right. Okay, so. Well, we have a little time here. <gasps> he just made a zombie sound. He just made a zombie sound. I must be over a cave. So I'm going to put up a portal. How about we do it on this little island here? You stay in the boat, okay? And let me set up a portal. And, uh, and then let's uh, light up this little island. Because it is an island, right? Yes, it is. Cool. Let's, uh, let's set up a portal here on this little island, burn down the island, and then we can set up a portal and then be able to come back here a little bit more easily. And then perhaps we can get more parrots. Oh, pardon me. That was gross. Okay. Why am I short? I usually carry two ender chests on me. Where did I... I must have put one down and didn't pick it back up. Interesting. Okay. So, let's get to work. Lots to do. Oh, I now have a shivering dog on my lap. Um, so, it is mid-June, which means 4th of July is just around the corner. 4th of July is Independence Day in the United States. And there's this tradition of lighting off fireworks uh, in order to celebrate 4th of July. Um, the thing about fireworks, as cool as they are, dogs hate them, and they get really freaked out. And fireworks are very common in our neighborhood, unfortunately, on the 4th, and people have started shooting them off weeks ahead of time. And so right now, I have a terrified little dog on my lap. So if you're uh, in a neighborhood where they have dogs, which is most neighborhoods. Um, and the fireworks are kind of exciting. Please uh, think twice before running around shooting off fireworks because you're gonna freak out all the dogs. <sighs> and so we are probably going to have to go out of town for the 4th of July. Certainly can't ever leave the dogs alone and go enjoy fireworks show someplace. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. So right now, oops, oops. I have a terrified dog on my lap. And if it keeps up, ooh, what's going on here? You got a little scab on your butt. Why do you have a scab on your butt? It's okay. All right. So I have a parrot in a boat right down here. I'm clearing out some land here. I will put up a portal probably right here. I can go ahead and build that now. And we will I'll establish the portal on this side. Then I will sail the parrot back home and then build out to an appropriate spot in the nether and uh, build a a portal there to link up to it. You don't need to see all that because it's pretty routine at this point. Um, pick up some more jungle saplings. And then this area here should become a much uh, 
Whoa, just broke my flint and steel second time, second flint and steel, cool. All right, so we will, I'll do that. And uh, next time we'll have a, a chance conveyance between the, the nether and this area here. And I think it'll be pretty cool. We'll be able to go out and we'll burn down more of this jungle on this side here. And I don't know, Vex may have been, he may have got inland a little bit to preserve the jungle a bit, but honestly, if this is specifically a uh, burned down jungle, we may as well embrace it. So there we go. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. So there we go. Uh, this has uh, been, this is Theron. This has been Minecraft Land Party. Thank you for watching, and uh, please have a safe and sane 4th of July if you're in the United States. And I guess 4th of July, safe is 4th of July, regardless of where you are, is a good idea. Um, and, but thank you for watching. And this has been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye. What?